What's up everybody? Today in Fidelity Active Trader Pro, I am going to show you how to use Trade Armor and why I think it's very valuable and it's something that you can add to your trading if you use Fidelity Active Trader Pro. So here I zoomed in on the tab just to make it easier for reference. What your first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Trade and Orders. And then under the Trade and Order tab, you will see Trade Armor and then you're going to click on this. All right, so after you click Trade Armor, this box pops up, which you can see that I'm circling, and this is the Trade Armor box. Now, in your Fidelity Active Trader Pro, you can link it, so each time you have a stock, you can quickly transfer it to each one. So the way this works is, the way that this is blue up here, this says it's a link, and what it does is it links your charts together so that you don't have to keep individually typing each symbol in. So because this is highlighted blue, you can click right here where it says link tool and you match it to the color that's on the chart. So I click the blue link, they're together, the blue and the blue, and it automatically transfers it. And if I were to change the stock, let's just say I made it QQQ, it would change with it, which is a unique feature of Fidelity, which allows you to quickly analyze stocks and use the trade armor to get news, position, research, and options. All right, so now I just have the trade armor up on the screen, and I wanna show you some unique features that make it might be useful for your trading. So we're gonna use DraftKings, and the first thing you can do is you can see that there's a blue line, a green line, and then the, the white line. The white line is the price that it actually is at right now, which is 19.96. And then the blue line is your support, where it'll say right here, you can see support 13.88, and then here is resistance at 21.2. You can also change the time frame. This is on three months. So I'm gonna change this just to mess around with it, just so you can see, but the support and the resistance will adapt to whatever time frame you put it. So I just put it here at the six month right here, and on the six month, the support shows 13.88 still. When you go to the one year chart, and it still shows it at 13.88. So when you're using Trade Armor, besides just looking at Fidelity's support, their resistance, and then it has also in the orange, it has 52 week high at 25. It gives you a good idea of where the stock is, where it's going, and going through the time frames, which is good. What I like about it is you can go in your positions. I have an open position in DraftKings, so we can use this as an example. I currently have $2,000 invested in DraftKings at a cost basis of $22.10. And yeah, I guess this wasn't the best buy, but that's okay. So here, it shows the current value, $1,800. It shows how many shares I own, 90 shares and 50, you know, 90.53. It shows the bid, it shows the ask, what it's buying and selling at. And then it'll show my today's gains and losses, $53 and my total loss is $194. And then the percentage that I'm actually down, which is 9.7% on this stock. And your closed position if you were buying and selling would show a number if you were to buy and sell it. So that's the first thing with the positions tabs. The next tab that you can use is news. When you click under news, it gives you just the most up-to-date information on this stock. So you can see it shows the date 221, and then it has information that's on DraftKings. And it shows different things that they'll have. And you can click on each one, and that'll bring up a tab for you where you can look into the article and you could research it on yourself. So it gives you quick up-to-date news that you could use, especially if you were trading during market hours, and it went on the news feed. So you don't have to go looking for it. If a stock is moving and you have trade armor up, it will just automatically pop it up for you and it'll be at the next highest spot. But you can go through and just get an idea of what the sentiment is and what the news is on the stock. The next thing is research. If you click on research, I like research because research for armor trade gives you a quick idea on how the stock's doing and what the news is. So you can get the overall equity sum summary score, which is, you know, 
this is based on star mine. And when we click on star mine, it will bring up basically a report and you can go through this on your own time, but it gives you a report and breaks it down on why they are giving it such a low rating. And I think that's kind of valuable if you're really looking to a stock, you want to see the support and resistance, you want to see how they're calculating it. It's interesting to see. Next, you can see their earnings and you can see what their expected earnings report date is. So this one says their next report is going to be on May 4th, 2023. And you can see what the consensus is, what's the earnings per share. And then you can see details. If you want to get further into it, you just click on the link. So Trade Armor offers a lot where you can get information right at your fingertips very quickly and you don't have to wait, which is really nice. And then it also tells you a quick synopsis. Does it have dividends? And it tells you that it currently does not pay dividends. So it gives you a nice little quick action to find out information about it. And then there's options trading. If you were, if you were into options, you can do options trading through Trade Armor. The next thing I want to go over is alerts. You can set alerts at certain prices. And you can see here that I already have an alert set that says 22.11, but let me show you how to make it. So you click here where it says alerts and you can put rises above or rises below. So I can set an alert. Let's make it for $23, 23.00, set alert. And then you see it pops up right here. And let's say I, I put the numbers in and I didn't like it. I can always just exit and it'll get rid of it for me. which is a nice little unique feature. So now I'm back on the trade tab and I said, oh, I wanted to put in $24, update alert, and look, it moves again. You wanna move it again, just click on it and you can update it again if you wanted to. And it'll update the alert for you and put it up here for you. So that's a unique feature that allows you to quickly put in the alerts so you can be notified if it hits a certain price especially if you were trying to buy it on a dip and you were looking at the support and resistance and you said, okay, well, the support is 13.88. I wanna be notified when it's $14. So now I have an alert for $14. So that's a, definitely a unique option that Fidelity Trader Pro offers. The next thing I wanna show you is you can change the resistance levels, the support and resistance. So you just click on the support and resistance and you can do 100 day, you can do 250 day. And it appears that it's starting to give you different frame of reference of where the support would be. So support and resistance, if you want the, the actual days to change, it'll adjust based on how many days that you are clicking on. So when I click on the 100 day, the support goes to 13.88, resistance is 20.54. When I go to the 250 day, it's still saying the same. Let's see if it does it differently for a 40 day. So a 40 day shows support still the same and then resistance 21.2. So it just gives you a quick idea analyzing the charts and you can go through this on your own time, but you can quickly quick through intraday, intraday one minute, five minute charts and get an idea of where support and resistance will be. So I think it's a valuable tool that could be added to your arsenal. And the next thing I wanna go into is trade. So if you wanted to trade this, and the market's closed right now while we're making this video, but if you click trade, so after you click the trade icon, this box comes up. And it'll tell you how much cash you have available to trade, what's your intraday buying power, it'll show you the current bid and the ask, and then you can click under stock, you can do calls, puts, if you wanted to do options which is a cool option. Next, you could do action, which is do you wanna buy it? Do you wanna sell it? And then you can do buy triggers. And then you could type in the quantity that you wanna buy, let's say 100 shares. And you can set market, limit, stop, stop limit. And then you can set this for a day on the open or the close. And then you can place your order. So you can make your trades right through Trade Armor. You don't have to use like the direct traded option 
that Fidelity Trader for, uh, Pro offers. So it just gives you another way to trade faster if you want to. All right, everyone. So that's what I have for Trade Armor. I just wanted to pass on what I've learned and what I believe could help you be quicker at your trades with Fidelity Active Trader Pro. If you guys have any requests, anything you want me to break down, whether it's on trade and orders, quotes and watch lists, options trading, news and research, just leave a comment in the section below and uh, I'll definitely make a video on it.